All right, Michael Grady here, Yes Network. Different set of circumstances. Uh, doing this from home, but talking to one of your favorite Nets, Garrett Temple, joining me right now. GT, how you doing, my man? Doing well, man. Besides needing needing a uh, barber, uh, you know, to, to 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 tighten this stuff up. Uh, doing pretty well. You know, my fiance and I are trying to stay sane, uh, occupying our time. Um, our little puppy, our dog, uh, got spayed, so we don't have a reason to go outside. She can't walk for another couple of days, so we just on the bike. You know, we got a a little Watt bike they sent us, and. Uh, you know, just drinking water, keeping our social distance from, you know, if we do go outside, keeping keeping our distance from everybody. So No, I feel you on that. Uh, especially the the you know, the the barber situation, man. I um it's not that often to just let it grow for a, for, a period, for a period of weeks, man. So we'll see how long it gets, <laughs> how messy it gets for real. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you still have to be at a fresh line though, so you all right. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I'm trying, man. How um, how surreal has this whole situation been? It's been very surreal. Um, first time I've ever been in a situation like this, and uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a old guy in general, but you know, NBA standards, I'm a, I'm a pretty old guy, so I've never seen anything like this. Never been in a situation like this um, uh, pertaining to the world, uh, or or just obviously our, our uh, the NBA in general. So. This is something very new and uh, obviously very fluid. So we're just taking it one day at a time. What have you been doing to like occupy your time? I, I think situations <laughs> like this, we really realize how many hours there are in a day. <laughs> facts, facts. So <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm, I, I've been sleeping a good amount, but uh, also trying to take on a new task. Um, you know, I, I've actually uh, started practicing for the LSAT prep. Uh, you know, I'm a person that has thought about going to law school when I finished playing and uh, what, you know, what about, what, what's not a, best, a better time than now to, you know, be able to put in three, four hours a day of studying uh, for a test that allows me to get into law school. So that's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. That's oh, man. That's that's wild. That's wild. So, yeah. how long has this been? How long has this been on your mind? We talked a lot about you know <laughs> family, your legacy. You, I've talked to your brothers. Like, how how long has this been on your mind? Honestly, I've thought about it over the past like three years, probably. My dad kind of put a seed in my head. I was thinking more MBA. Um, I have a um, my undergrad degree in business, so I was thinking more MBA. And my dad was telling me how law school is. Uh, you know, something that's pretty prestigious, having a law degree and just teaches you to think a different way. And I've always been a, a pretty big time debater. I'm very literal. So uh, when I get into arguments, I'm the type of person that you probably just want to stop arguing with me because I'm going to nitpick every single thing that you say. So, <laughs> and then, um, you know, getting into the, the space of uh, you know, watching that movie, Just Mercy, and talking to Brian Stevenson, having a conversation with him. Um, and a few of the lawyers that I admire, uh, just understanding how much of an impact you can have, um, you know, with a law degree in, in a lot of different ways. You don't necessarily even have to practice law, but just having that knowledge uh, is something that I, that intrigues me. Uh, GT, we, in, the, in, the, in the meantime, while we wait for play to resume, how, what's it been like trying to stay active while confined at the same time? Right. Uh, so we're blessed enough to have a, little backyard so we can get a little sun. But, <laughs> uh, you know, the team has done a great job of providing us with a bike, a nice okay. bike, bike. So getting my cardio in here, I actually hate this bike right now as much <laughs> as I'm riding. Um, and also we got, they gave us some jump ropes, uh, some bands, weight, um, a dumbbell right there. So, and they're sending us workouts every day. So. <laughs> uh, and, and and best believe, Dan Meehan, our uh, and Dan LeBerg, our strength coaches, they can find ways to make sure you stay in shape wherever you are. You could be on the moon with nothing, and they're gonna find ways to make sure you stay in shape. So uh, <laughs> the workouts are like an hour and a half, hour and a half, hour and a half long. But uh, they definitely get it out of us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do um, let's let's look at fridges real quick.
And I was going to ask, what is one thing that you need to have food-wise on you? I'm going to show my fridge real quick. The, um, the eggs, we got three in the household. Beyonce, my Man. stepson. So you see the eggs are like... I see the eggs are crazy. Everybody was grabbing toilet paper. We were grabbing eggs. <laughs> I see. So <laughs> eggs are something big for us. We kind of have just a, a mosh pit of a lot of different stuff in there. <laughs> eggs, food, uh, packaged food that we got oh. delivered, um, <laughs> good amount of bread. You know, DeAndre would be happy about this vegan ease I have. <laughs> I want to make some, make something. Uh, but also eggs. Actually, <laughs> wife just wife just pulled these out. She about to make some. Now tell us, tell us about the dog and the dog and the dog's name. Yeah, Basil. Come here, girl. She's uh, <laughs> she's a chocolate lab, an English oh. chocolate lab, and uh, <laughs> yeah, she actually just got spayed. So she's real calm right now, relaxed. And usually she always is, you know. Cut, she's extra cuddly right now, as, as my fiance just said, yeah. But she's all, always very chill, relaxed. She's the perfect dog. We got lucky. We got yeah, lucky. I'm she, telling you. She doesn't those... bark. She does this most of the time. Except when That's... she's outside. Except when she's outside uh, trying to chase a squirrel or running after a stick or trying to jump in some water. <laughs> Other than that, she's pretty, pretty laid back and chill. So it's uh, it's great. That's awesome. And how old? She's a um a year and two or three months. She was okay. born yeah, a year and three months. Yeah. Okay, Over. man, it's great. It's great having a dog around. Okay, I'm gonna um man. introduce you to fam real quick. Hold on, real quick. My stepson, sure. and he's doing uh online classes right now. So okay. uh, Ty, Ty, say what's up to Garrett Temple. So, hey, well, let's do, on, you know, let's do, <laughs> let me let's do a game real quick. Let's play. Um, I'm, he, so I know you recognize this right here. Hold on, check this out. This uh, oh, so my fiance's right there. Say hello. hello. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Well, my, so my you brother. see, um, <laughs> hey, so the the goal on the door right there. <laughs> we gonna do. <laughs> this is the only exercise that we can get in. Um, so Ty, let's do. Let's play. Uh, guess guess your Nets teammate. All right, so Ty, I want you um guess he's gonna imitate a teammate. You tell us which teammate it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it, Ty. Oh, oh, and one oh. should be Spencer. Should, Spencer should, should be no question. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you been able to? Have you been able to communicate with your teammates? What's it been like communicating with your guys through all this? Yeah, we we have a group chat. We have a group chat, and uh, you know we've uh -huh. been talking. Uh, and we've obviously when we first heard about the, the four players that were diagnosed, you know, diagnosed with it, uh, we obviously been reaching out to them, talking to them. Um, but honestly, just keeping everything light, you know, sending a lot of the memes that are going around. Uh, a lot of stuff. The internet is undefeated right now. So, um, <laughs> all these different type of cartoon type things and just things that are on the internet. Just something to something to do to keep everybody's uh, you know, uh, mind happy and, and and people laughing. I think it's something that's important in these times. So, having that group chat and obviously a lot of other group chats is uh, something that we need to continue to do. Lastly, what's your message to the fans? Um, stick with us. Uh, first and foremost, I want y'all to um, be safe. Continue to take this very seriously. I, um, you know, I've had friends that have that have had the virus. Um, I've had uh, a family member. Um, so make sure you take this very seriously. Just because we're younger, um, if you're in the, if you're under fifty years old, just because you're younger. And maybe be able to withstand it. That doesn't mean that we can be careless. Um, think about the people that uh, are at risk um, for tougher diseases. Uh, think about your parents, your grandparents. So let's just remember to be uh, very conscious of that. Be, be very smart and uh, be very considerate of everybody else. I hey, appreciate you, GT. Thanks so much, brother. Appreciate you, man.